Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to easily combine your quality inspection processes with AI, enabling your Clapier app to intelligently analyze, interpret, and act on data quickly. The AI block in Clapier is powered by ChatGPT, and just for this video, we will see it being used in quality inspections. You can check out our other AI videos from our channel. Now let's take an example. I have created an app here in my Clapier dashboard, which captures basic information and a quality checklist for electrical safety to determine overall quality. Instead of adding all these fields, I can simply upload an image and get the AI block to analyze what I need from it and give me a response automatically and immediately. Let's see how to do that. I'll go to the design app where you can see all the earlier sections and its corresponding fields. Since I'll be using the AI block in place of this checklist to determine quality, I will delete this section and add a new section over here. I'll quickly give a name to the section on the right hand panel under section name and click on save. Now in this section, I will first add a field to upload an image of what needs to be inspected. So I'll click on add field and select the camera images and files block. You can configure this block on the right hand panel. There is a separate video if you want to see how to configure this block in detail. It is linked in the description. First, I will change the label into something appropriate. Next, I'll go to the advanced section and under allowed file types, I can select both image options. So I can upload images either through my gallery or a live image capture. I'll change the number of files that I can upload. And since I don't need any other configurations, I'll click on save. Now coming to the AI block, I'll click on add field and select the AI block. Again, this block can be configured on the right hand panel and I will take an example of doing a quality inspection on electrical panels to check for these attributes to determine whether they need to be replaced or not. So first I will give a label. I will leave the description blank as it's not required. This is usually used so that a text can appear below the field to give some instructions to the user. And now coming to the instructions. Now the AI block has to first analyze an image uploaded to this block. So I can give the instructions as inspect the electrical panel from the image in this block. So I can pull up the variable of that field by typing in at the rate upload image which corresponds to this field and determine whether it has any of these faults. So I've added all those points over here. Make sure that the instructions that you give over here have a character count of up to 500. Any more than that, it will throw you an error message. I don't need anything from the advanced section as of now. So I'll go ahead and click on save. I'll go to app home and see how this works. You can see the new section that I've added with the block to upload images and the AI block. So as per the instructions, I will first need to upload an image. I'll select the image. Once the image has loaded in the app, I will click on the AI block to do a quality inspection. Do note that if you have given the instructions to the AI block to analyze an image or to maybe analyze certain fields in your apps, you will first need to upload the image or fill in the fields of the apps and then only click on the AI block. Otherwise, you will get an error message. Also, the AI block has a maximum character count of 100 for its display. So if you do not want any unwanted text, make sure to tweak your instructions accordingly. I will click on the AI block and the AI block will display the following output. Now, if you do not need any additional text from the AI, such as this, and maybe just need a specific format where you get the response either yes or no, instead of all this text, basically to get more distinct replies or in a specific format, you will have to alter your instructions. For example, I'll go back to my design app and for this AI block, I will alter my instructions. So here I have mentioned as previously to inspect the electrical panel from the image uploaded in this field and then to check the following conditions and only answer in yes or no format. I'll save this and go back to app home. I'll first upload the image and click on the AI block. And it has now given me in the specified format. However, there still seems to be some extra text given by the AI, so I will still need to tweak my instructions a bit. I'll go back to Design App, and from the AI block, I'll modify the instructions. 
So now I've added the instruction to only display the following conditions in the specified format. I'll save it and go back to App Home. I'll upload the image and click on the AI block. Now the AI has not given me any extra text, only my desired output. So you'll have to test out your instructions to see what works for you. Make sure you do give the AI block precise instructions on what you require from it, even if it has to be displayed in a certain format. Now let me take another case for quality inspection, where I'd like to determine the cleanliness of a room, whether it is up to mark. So I'll go back to design app, change the section name just for the sake of example. And since I'll be determining the cleanliness of a room, I'll change the AI blocks instructions. So I'll give the instructions like inspect the room from the image in this field. So I'll type in at the rate, the field name, followed by the rest of the instructions. In my instructions, I have asked the AI block to inspect the room uploaded in the image block and only display the following conditions in the yes or no format. So it will need to inspect the room based on these conditions. I'll click on save. Let's test this out. Now the AI block also works on the mobile app and in this case, I'll do a live camera capture using my mobile device instead of uploading an image for which I'll use the Clapier app. If you don't have it already, you can simply download the Clapier app either on Play Store or App Store. And the moment you download the app, all the apps that you have created or have been assigned to you will be live and ready to use. Over here, you can see the mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded on it. I'll select the Quality Inspection app and go to the section with the AI block in it. So here, instead of uploading an image with my mobile's camera, I will take a photo of a room to inspect the cleanliness. Now that the image has been uploaded, I click on the AI block. And it has now determined whether the room is clean or not based on the specifications provided. Once you fill in all the fields in your app, you can go ahead and click on Submit. So let me do that really quickly. You can view all your submissions if you have the appropriate access. Click on the submission to view all the details. In the web app, once you fill in all the fields, just like the mobile app, click on Submit to submit your data and view all your submissions under the Submissions tab. There may be instances where you might not get the right output. In that case, I'd suggest adding extra fields in your app to capture users' input on the case. So for example, in the Design app, you can add another field, let's say the multi-line text, configure it on the right-hand panel, and this can be used to capture the user's assessment in quality inspections, or you can use any other fields as per your requirements. So in this way, you can easily combine your quality inspection processes with AI. If you have any query on how to configure this block or on any other feature, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here, or you can email us directly to support at and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.